All right, today I'm gonna to be diving into something that can be a little tough to realize for, uh, for people. This is, I can't trust my body to respond. I am terrified to start on another diet, another nutrition plan. I keep reading all these things. I keep researching this stuff. I keep listening to different things and then I'll try it for a little bit and then I get freaked out or I'm scared or I won't even start because everything that I have started has completely backfired on me. I feel like garbage. I don't get the right results or I'm not, I'm not even sure where to turn next because my body does not respond, right? So I'm gonna be covering a lot of this information, what is happening and then really how your nervous system, how your brain is gonna respond and what your brain is gonna tell you is wrong but is really the total opposite of what's happening. <laughs> your brain plays tricks on you and I'll go into why. But first, when we, when we talk about this, realize how many times have you done this? How many times have you gone down this road? How many times have you gone on a diet? Like total. And you're like, I work with women and I had a gal tell me, she goes, well, I've been dieting since I was 12. Since she was 12, she was on a diet like all the time. She'd start one diet, end it, start another one within a week. She's like, really, only when I was on vacation would I not be on a diet. She's like, I'm, I'm 53. That's over 40 years of her life, always on a diet. And I was like, well, is that helpful or whatever? No, she was still more than 30 pounds um, overweight. She couldn't get it off no matter what she was doing. And she's like, I don't even know if my system's gonna respond here. I've, I'm almost given up. I'm at, the, I'm at my breaking point. I'll just, I'll just be fat, was what she said. And I was like, like your body never does anything without a reason. There is a purpose. For this there's a reason is holding on to that weight and why you have that specific body composition there's a reason we just don't know what it is yet so we're approaching it completely wrong but because you've been burned so many times in the past it makes it that much harder to start over again it's exhausting it's exhausting but when you're starting with something and you're just jumping into the next thing jumping into another meal guide jumping into another workout program jumping into another gym Right? And I'm not saying these are bad things. It just might not be serving you. We might not be addressing what your body needs. This is why we do hormone testing, right? This is why we deep, do a deeper dive on what your system is doing specifically. So if you guys are, are open to it and open to sharing and talking about this, I would love to know, you know some of your experiences. I have heard women go on some of the worst diet things ever, like the cabbage diet. How many of you have done the cabbage diet? I wanna know, put a comment below. Comment, cabbage diet, the cereal diet. Have you ever done this? College, that, that was college. The, the trick was is that you didn't eat your dinner, you just had a bowl of cereal because it was less calories. Yeah, uh, juice diets, um, you know, just where you just like drink juice. Yeah, that's it. I wanna know, have you guys done that? Um, Oh, in high school, everything had to be fat-free. How many of you were on the fat-free train? Everything was fat-free. That was for high school, I'm 41 now. But everything was fat-free. Like we would sit around and have our carrots and like the fat-free um, dill dip and our, oh, carrots and celery and like um, slices of green pepper and everything. And that's what we could eat for a snack because there was no fat in it. That was. Yeah, we did that for years. Thinking it was healthy, thinking it was okay, right? How many, how many times have you guys done that? I wanna know. Now, I do check the comments, I check the comments. And sometimes, every now and then, somebody tells me of a random you know, diet thing, and I was like, I've never heard of that, so I'll Google it. So if you've got something new for me, let me know, because I wanna look it up. <laughs> yes. But we start over and over again on these different things, and oftentimes, the reason we start a diet is because we are unhappy with what's happening physically with our bodies. So we're jumping into another thing just to force a physical response without taking into account if we're actually working with what's gonna be healthiest for our system. Are you gonna have a good outcome, not just in your physical results, but in your overall health, in your physiology, how your body functions, right? I was chatting with somebody recently and she goes, I'm so sick and tired of losing weight just to lose the weight because I just gained it again. I'm exhausted. And now I can't trust my body to respond to what I'm doing. It won't budge.
the reason it becomes so hard for us to start over again is because not just your physical body gets used to you starting over on diets, you know, it acclimates, your metabolism slows down, all of that stuff. I could talk on the science of that for days, but there's also another piece of it. Your brain forms neural pathways, neurons that fire together, wire together. <sighs> this is stuff that we talk about when we work together because it's so important to understand. Your brain has the same pattern. Your brain has the same pattern. So it's setting you up to succeed or fail at the same points every time you start over again. So if you start a diet and you're like, you know, I'm solid for three weeks and then I fall off and then something happens or I get distracted or I get discouraged or there's a you know wedding that weekend and I go off the rails or whatever and you just can't start over again, it's because of your own neural pathway, right? And that's why you think you can't trust your body to respond. It's not that it's not actually gonna respond, you're approaching it the same way. This is the same thing as if you keep doing the same thing, you're gonna get the same results. If you keep approaching your next diet, your next nutrition plan with the same angle, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it harder, that's gonna give me a result. I'm just gonna be more strict. I'm just gonna hammer down on it. Ah! I'm like sweating right now. No. That's not gonna get you more of a result. Working out harder or doing it more isn't the thing if you're not working with your system and if your brain and body has been used to failing again and again and again. Elizabeth, that is me. I can't, I can't stick with something for more than two and a half weeks. That, that right there, that realization right there is a huge light bulb moment. So whenever you have a diet plan and if you're like, oh, I can do it for this amount of time. I can do it for this, right? Your brain is programmed for that. You're not failing. Your brain, the neurons, they connect that way. And that's the synapse that keeps firing. That's the only road it knows how to take. That's the only path it knows how to go down. So part of this, part of what we do, is not just saying, oh, here's a list of things to eat. Here's the things to do. Oh, I can check that off the list. Oh, let me do all the things. Do, 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 do. Gr great. But it's understanding your neurology behind it, right? Your neurology behind it and that this isn't you just failing or not being motivated or whatever. You have to logically be able to work around that and set yourself up for success in a completely different way. But knowing that that happens for you is the first key thing. That's a huge win. That's a huge win. So if you're like, oh my gosh, yes. Uh, I wanna know what's going on in my body so I can understand where I need to start with. I'm gonna put a link here in the comments for you. More about, um, you know, working with me in a one-on-one -on -one setting. This is um, a program that I take very limited amount of people because it is such extensive work that we do together. Um, but there's um, GI mapping, gut testing, genetic testing, hormone testing, we deep dive into everything. So we know exactly where you're starting. And then if you have that, yeah, two and a half weeks in, three weeks in, then we work on that. Set you up for success, set you up for a win because then we work on your body physiology and your brain neurology at the same time. It's a whole different thing. You get your system a different exposure. And the one, the last thing I'm gonna tell you here, and this is like the most important thing to realize as you go down this new path, and this is why it's so important to have guidance with this because you will quit. Like you can't see the forest from the trees. Like the best athletes in the world, the most successful people in business, you know, all these people, they have coaches. They have coaches on coaches on coaches to help them guide through it so that you don't have to do all this heavy lifting on your own. You shouldn't. You should have the guidance walking through this because it feels wrong. I can't tell you how many times I have had somebody go through my program and I have them eat more and lose weight. Eat more and lose weight. And they're shocked. I, this just happened this week. This gal who has been eating 1200 calories or less a day for over two years, except for literally less than a handful of days in the past two years, she could count them. You know, this Christmas, this holiday, this birthday, she was like, these days were the only days I ate more than this many calories because they were special. So that's it. Otherwise it's been this many calories for this. And she was terrified to eat more protein. Because when we talked about stuff, I was like, we need to do this. And I said, I understand this is going to be the hardest thing to do. 
because it's going to feel wrong. But really make sure you understand moving through this process is not only going to get you a different result physically, but it's going to get you a different mindset about your body, about your path, about your journey, and about what is possible for your body and system. That's the biggest thing. Realize that there are more possibilities out there for you by approaching things in a completely different way and learning more about your brain and your body and how they work together. Yeah. It feels wrong. But as she was going through it and like right now in the middle of it, she updated me and she's like, okay, I've been eating more. I have been eating more protein. So it's more calories. I'm still eating healthy stuff, all that. I'm like, okay, yep, great. And she's like, I've lost three pounds. How is that possible? This doesn't seem right. So here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. And this is a deeper layer of this. This is a deeper layer of this, that because your body's responding in a different way, it still feels like you can't trust it. I know, even though you're like, it's going in the right direction. This is exactly what I want to have happen. This is, uh, okay, okay, okay. But it feels so weird because it, that's, that just, that's not right. I know, I know. Because the way your neurons were programmed before and what they're used to doing, we're shifting and changing that. So again, most important thing, understand where your body is at. Know what your system needs. Move forward in that direction. And then realize that your, your brain has been programmed to fight you, to fight you. So you're not crazy and you're not doing anything wrong, but having the guidance step-by-step -step through this is going to be the thing that leads you to a win in the end. I promise. I promise. <sighs> okay. So now after hearing this, what I want from you guys, what I would love from you guys, if you would do me this huge favor, if you had a light bulb happen, during this video, if you had a light bulb moment where you're like, holy crap, yes, that's me. You know, maybe mine wasn't that three weeks where I would, maybe it's six weeks. Oh my gosh, I, I realize how many times I've done this again and again and that I need to set my body up differently for success. Let me know in the comments. I check the comments. I, I wanna know your diets that you've been on that are crazy and if you had a light bulb moment and what it was. Because sharing this information, you are not alone, right? There was somebody who commented like ditto after something already, yes. Yes, this is absolutely amazing. So I'm here for your questions, but I'm also here to help guide you along this way. There is more information in that link that I have posted. And that's what I got for you guys tonight. Let me know if there's anything else. Um, other resources I have for you. I have my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon, all about nutrition for your hormones and your cycle. Female Menopause Solution. If you are in perimenopause or menopause, tons of great content here. I also have my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Beth Westy. Make sure you like, subscribe to that. And then I also have my YouTube or my podcast, The Female Health Solution. I have a lot of really great episodes coming up. So if you like podcasts, yes. And then these are my tinctures. Uh, this one is for estrogen. This one's for progesterone. These are going to help balance your hormones, everything else. Important thing that all of these things work synchronous to, uh, in synergy together for your body, for your hormones to help get you success. It's a completely different path to take to work with your body, with your hormones, with your system, and then realize that your brain was trained to fail before. So now step into it in a whole new way. Have a great night. I'm here if you need anything and I'll see you later.